Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in the next couple of videos, we will learn about the passive electronics filters. So the electronic filter is the circuit which passes some frequency components in the circuit and rejects or attenuates all other frequency components. So now based on the frequency band which is being passed by this filter, the filters can be classified in a four different types. The first is the low pass filter. So this low pass filter passes the low frequency signal starting from 0 Hz up to the cutoff frequency Fc and beyond this cutoff frequency it rejects all other frequency components. So if you see the frequency spectrum of the ideal low pass filter it will look like this. So now the second type of filter is the high pass filter. So this high pass filter passes all the high frequency components starting from this cutoff frequency and it rejects all the frequencies which is lesser than this cutoff frequency. And if you see the frequency response of our ideal high pass filter, it will look like this. So the third type of filter is the band pass filter. So this band pass filter passes the frequencies which is under certain band and it rejects all the frequencies which is outside this band. Then the fourth type of filter is the band reject filter. So this band reject filter rejects all the frequency components which is under certain band and it passes all the frequencies out of this particular band. So in this video we will focus on the low pass filter. So now this low pass filter further can be classified in a two different types that is active filter and the passive filter and this classification is based on the components which is used for the design. So now if the filter is designed using the active components like op-amp and the transistor then such filters are known as the active low pass filters. While if the filter is designed using the passive components like resistor, capacitor and the inductor then such filters are known as the passive low pass filter. So the advantage of the active filter is that it also provides the gain to the input signal. While in case of a passive low pass filters or in general the passive filters the output is always less than the input. So the following are the example of a passive low pass filters. So in this particular video we will concentrate on the RC low pass filter. So now the first order RC low pass filter can be designed by connecting resistor and capacitor in this fashion. So now in this circuit the input is provided at this end and output is taken across this capacitor. So now let us understand how this circuit acts as a low pass filter. So now if you see the output can be given as Xc dr by Xc plus R into V in where Xc is nothing but the reactance of this capacitor and we know that Xc can be written as 1 over omega C. So now at lower frequencies if you see the reactance of this capacitor will be much larger. So the output will be approximately equal to the input. While if you go at higher frequencies, the value of this capacitor reactance will reduce and its output will also reduce and at very high frequencies, the output will tend to zero. So in this way, this circuit will act as a low pass filter. So it passes the low frequency components in the input signal and rejects or attenuates higher frequency components. So now earlier we had seen the frequency response of a ideal low pass filter. But if you see the actual response, the actual response will look like this. So at lower frequencies, this filter provides a zero attenuation or a minimum attenuation and as the frequency increases, the attenuation will also increase. And the frequency at which the output is 0.707 times the input that frequency is known as the cutoff frequency or a minus 3 dB frequency. So at this frequency the output will be 1 over root 2 times the maximum value of the output value. And after this cutoff frequency the output will reduce at the rate of minus 20 dB per decade. That means if you increase the frequency by a tenfold then the output will reduce by the factor of 10. So this cutoff frequency Fc can be given by this equation that is 1 over 2 pi into Rc. So now let us derive the expression for this cutoff frequency for the first order low pass filter. 
so earlier we had seen that v out can be given as x c divided by x c plus r into v in and if we only consider the magnitude then we can write it as a v out that is equal to mod of x c divided by mod of x c plus r into v in that means v out by v in that is equal to mod of x c divided by under root r square plus x c square now at cut off frequency the output will be 1 over root 2 times the input that means the gain or attenuation of the system will be 1 over root 2 that is equal to 1 over omega c divided by under root r square plus 1 over omega c whole square and if we take the square at both the sides then we will get 1 by that is equal to 1 over omega c whole square divided by r square plus 1 over omega c whole square and if we further simplify it then we will get omega that is equal to 1 over rc or we can say cut off frequency fcs nothing but 1 over 2 pi into rc so now in case of a low pass filter as we increase the input frequency not only the output of the signal will reduce but phase will also get changed and this phase phi can be given as minus 10 inverse omega into cr so now at omega is equal to 0 if you see the value of phase value of phase will be nothing but minus 10 inverse of 0 that is 0 degree so at omega is equal to 0 output will be in phase with the input now at cut off frequency if you see the phase 5 can be given as minus 10 inverse of 1 as at cut off frequency the value of omega is equal to 1 over rc so at cut off frequency the value of phase will be minus 45 degree and now if we go at omega is equal to infinity then 5 is nothing but minus 10 inverse of infinity that is nothing but minus 90 degree so now if we plot the phase versus frequency curve it will look like this so at zero frequency the phase will be zero degree and at cut off frequency the phase will be minus 45 degree that means output signal lags the input signal by a 45 degree and as we move away from the cut off frequency the phase will move towards a minus 90 degree so now as we know about the phase and frequency response of this low pass filter now let us take one example based on this low pass filter so in this example we have been given one low pass filter and in this example we have been asked to find the minus 3 db frequency for the given filter and apart from that we have been asked to find the output voltage for the given applied input signal so to this filter at input side the 10 volt sinusoidal signal of a 2 kilohertz is applied and we have been asked to find the output voltage for the given input signal so now first of all let us find the cut off frequency for the given low pass filter so as we know the cut off frequency can be given as 1 divided by 2 pi into rc and if we put the value of r and c then we will get value of cut off frequency as 1.59 kilohertz so now we have been asked to find the value of output voltage at 2 kilohertz frequency so earlier we had seen that the output voltage can be given as xc divided by under root r square plus xc square into v in so first of all we need to find the value of the reactance at a 2 kilohertz frequency and we know that the capacitive reactance can be given as 1 divided by 2 pi into fc and now if we put the value of this frequency and capacitor in this equation then we will get the value of xc as 796 and if we put the value of xc into this equation then we will get v out as 
सेवन नाइन्टी सिक्स डी एड वाई अंडर रूट सेवन नाइन्टी सिक्स होल स्क्वेर प्लस थाउजंड स्क्वेर इंटू वी इन नाउ हियर वी इन इज नथिंग बट अ टेन वोल्ट साइनोसुडल इनपुट सिग्नल सो इफ यू फर्दर सिंप्लीफाइड देन वी विल गेट वी आउट एज सिक्स पॉइंट टू टू वोल्ट दैट मीन्स एट द इनपुट साइड If you apply a 10 volt of sinusoidal signal of a 2 kilohertz frequency, then at the output you will get a 6.22 volt of sinusoidal signal. So now, if you plot the frequency response for the given low pass filter, then it will look like this. And the cutoff frequency which we have found is nothing but 1.59 kilohertz. And the 2 kilohertz frequency will be around somewhere here. So at this frequency, we have found the output value as 6.22 volt so now suppose in your design if you want that this 2 kilohertz signal should be attenuated as much as possible then we should go for the higher order filters and as we go for higher order filters the slope of the decay will increase gradually so now suppose let's say if you go for the second order filter then at the second order filter if you see the amplitude at 2 kilohertz will be lesser than the first order filter and similarly if you go for the higher order filters the amplitude at 2 kilohertz frequency will reduce drastically so in this way using the higher order filters we can achieve the much sharper roll off so let us say if you are using the second order filter then the roll off will be minus 40 db per decade or in general we can say that if you are designing the nth order filter then the decay will be Minus twenty into n dB per decade. That means suppose if you are designing the fourth order filter, then the roll off will be minus eighty dB per decade. And these higher order filters can be designed by cascading the first order low pass filters. So now let us see the second order low pass filter. So here the two first order low pass filters are cascaded. And let us assume that. the cutoff frequency of the first filter is fc1 and the cutoff frequency of the second filter is fc2 so the cutoff frequency of the overall second order filter can be given as 1 dy 2 pi into under root r1 into c1 into r2 into c2 so now suppose r1 is equal to r2 and c1 is equal to c2 then the cutoff frequency can be given as 1 dy 2 pi into r1 into c1 so now as we go for the higher order filters the attenuation at the cutoff frequency will also increase so for the first order filter as we had seen the output is 1 over root 2 times the input at a cutoff frequency now if you go for the second order filter then output is 1 over root 2 into 1 over root 2 times of the input that means output is 0.5 times the input so we can say that if we cascade a n number of filters with a same cut off frequency then the output will reduce by the factor of 1 over root 2 to the power n into v in so in this way you will get a sharp and sharp roll off but designing this higher order filter is not as simple as it looks like suppose you are designing the second order low pass filter by cascading the two first order low pass filter so you should make sure that second stage of this low pass filter should not get loaded by the first stage and to minimize this loading effect you should choose the value of this resistance r2 and c2 in a such a way that the impact of the first stage will be minimized and to minimize the loading effect the value of r2 should be at least 10 times of the r1 and the best way to minimize the effect of loading is to use the active filters because these active filters not only provides the gain but they also acts as a buffer between the two stages so we will see more about these active filters once we complete the all the passive filters so i hope in this video you understood about the passive rc low pass filters so if you have any question or suggestion please let me know in the comment section below if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such videos